Hey, what you doing, Cameron? Oh, uh, just tracking Ted Beer. Doesn't he have a restraining order against you? Yeah, but it's only like a physical proximity thing. Anything interesting? Uh, looks like he's getting a package from Sweden. How'd you figure that out? I hacked his email. I mean, he still uses Hotmail. Huh. Interesting. Hey, I got an idea. Welcome to another episode of Under Pressure. My name is John and we have a bit of news before we get into things today. A lot of stuff coming out in January. We already mentioned it. We're going to be at SHOT Show. That's the big industry event where we cover everything that's coming out. We'll be there. We'll be posting things every day on Facebook, YouTube, our blog page. So if you want to get the latest, get the first look of all the new things that are coming out, you'll want to follow us. Make sure you sign up for our email. Make sure you follow us on YouTube and on Facebook and all the other usual places. We actually have some really great product reviews coming out in January. There's some big releases. One of them is going to be an awesome semi-auto air rifle that might not be what you expect. There's a new synthetic QB, a new Adamin rifle that we're going to show you, and another really, really big item that you might have pieced together what it is if you saw our friend Dave over at 22 Plinkster's recent review of the FX Wildcat. If you haven't seen that review yet, you definitely want to check it out because I think it's very clear that we've converted yet another gun reviewer over to an air gun fan. So make sure you check out Dave over at 22 Plinkster. Hey! Oh! It worked! We got it. So who knew? It was actually fairly easy to hack into UPS's database and steal Ted's package. What's this? It's the brand new FX Streamline. So FX is still fairly new to Airgun Depot. Maybe we're leaving the honeymoon stage, but they're still delivering. This is the brand new FX Streamline. So FX is an incredible manufacturer and you really get what you pay for, but the reality is a lot of people, it's just simply out of their price range. Guns like the Impact, Royal and Boss are a big investment, but FX has changed the game with the introduction of the Streamline priced under $1,000. Honestly, when I saw the price point of the Streamline, I expected it to be a budget stripped down version of an FX air rifle, but it's not. You get the main features like a shrouded FX smooth twist barrel and one of the best triggers, the two-stage FX trigger. It's a rotary based mag system with a three-step power adjuster so you can go full power, which is about 60 shots per fill or half your power and extend your shot life. Not to mention you get that smooth cocking side lever action that FX is known for. 190cc air cylinder on the 22 caliber, it's 250cc on the 25 caliber. There's three stock options, a soft touch ambidextrous stock, a walnut, and a black pepper laminate stock. All the stocks come in just around six pounds. And like all FX air guns, you get the internal regulator that's going to give you shot consistency and help with your accuracy. Barrel length is 19.75 inches and overall length without any moderator sections is 38 and a half inches. So how did they get the price so low? Well, here's how. Without the stock, you can see that everything is much more integrated. The air cylinder is directly attached to the breech block. Everything's simplified and, dare I say, streamlined, making the cost a lot less and passing on that savings to you. So before I show you the important stuff like accuracy and power, I wanted to give you a little bit of insider tip about the Streamline. For the Streamline, FX actually redesigned the rotary magazine. This was the standard rotary magazine on the Bobcat and Royal guns. This is a Streamline. As you can see, it's a little bit shorter, and they did that for a reason. They wanted you to be able to mount medium rings. Now, here's the thing, though. It'll only allow the mounting of certain scopes with medium rings. Spent a lot of time putting on basically every scope we had, all the Hawk scopes, all the UTG, Leopold, anything we get our hands on. The problem is, though most of the scope will clear the magazine, the actual housing of the scope has to be either in front of the magazine or behind it. So with this Hawk Frontier, because of its length, I can push that housing portion of the scope in front of the magazine and it'll clear it just fine. But other popular scopes, like let's say a Hawk Side Focus, you see on the housing that's a really big section and there's just simply not enough room to push it far enough forward or back and still get the eye relief you need to get your sight picture. So there's only a handful of scopes that I found that worked with medium rings. Certainly there's probably more out there, but when you're looking for a scope that'll work with medium rings, you need to find a scope with links so you can move that housing in front of or behind the rotary mag. So this is actually our exclusive Air Gun Depot setup where you can get a Hawk Side Focus Vantage. It's a 6 to 24 by 44. This is the same setup I used for the accuracy testing. So speaking of, I shot over 20 different pellets this morning trying to find the perfect pellet, and here are my recommendations for the Streamline. 
So when it comes to FX air guns, there are two pellets that you can always count on to shoot lights out. It's the JSB Exact Jumbo and the JSB Exact Jumbo Heavy. These will always be the most accurate pellets for any FX gun. It's just simply proven at this point. If you're looking for something a little bit heavier, the JSB Ultrashocks worked really well, though the group was a little bit looser. And finally found an H&N pellet that grouped reasonably well, the Hunter Extreme Barracudas. They grouped pretty well, though the irony is they had the same foot pounds as the Ultrashocks and the Jumbo Heavy, so it really doesn't matter which one you use if you're hunting. As you can see by the shot string, guys, the FX regulator is simply one of the best in the business. It works his ass off, it's going to get you those 60 full power shots, and it's going to give you a really low standard deviation. The only other thing is a lot of people have commented that the gun is extremely light. So light that it almost doesn't feel durable, even though it absolutely is. It's incredibly light at six pounds. I mean, with the scope, I'm still under seven pounds. And with that carbine length, it's just a small package. I love that. I can carry this in the field all day, but I know that there'll be some people that like a little bit more heft to the gun. If that's you, you should definitely look at the Royal or the Boss if you're looking for an FX air gun with more heft. Overall, if it's not obvious, I've fallen in love with the Streamline. Much like all FX guns, they're amazing. The best part is the price point's fantastic. It's gonna change the game, and I also feel it's gonna drive the competition to up their game as well, because they have a lot to catch up to when it comes to FX. That's it for another Under Pressure. Make sure you, oh shit. I think Ted found me. Um, hey, subscribe, like, do stuff, I gotta go. Reports of a 1050 suspect northbound near the Omega Power Station. All units in the vicinity, please respond. Dispatch, I need more backup.